Today, we take you to meet the creator of an art studio that combines art and dining. Cesar Reyes came to Taiwan where he taught art at an American school. In 2017, he founded a studio that not only showcases works by talented artists, but also serves food and organizes talks. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang met Reyes and Taiwan-based Filipino artist Michael Vincent Manalo, who is exhibiting his works at the studio. Michael Vincent Manalo explains a series of artworks chasing dreams. This painting was inspired by his art residency in Poland. The painting utilizes augmented reality. After downloading an app and swiping the QR code, the painting is presented on the visitor's mobile phone through animation or video. This is a new exhibition at the studio. Manalo is a digital painter and photographer from the Philippines, but he is now based in Taiwan. The things that I saw are so different, it kind of sh like shook me to the core and I was like, I was very shocked because oh, everything was just like what I just saw on, you know, the magazines or, or on the internet, like everything was so different. And so this kind of represents that, you know, like I'm just a small person seeing something so different from what I used to see. There's always just this glint or beam of hope as represented in, in the light shining through the trees. This art studio was created by Cesar Reyes. He grew up in Hawaii and graduated from Wheaton College and Columbia University in New York. After graduation, he worked at Columbia University. In 2005, he moved to Taiwan and started teaching art in Taiwan. In 2017, he began hosting art dinners at his own house, where he invited friends over to have meals and appreciate art. In 2018, after finding a permanent space and redecorating the place, he established the studio in hopes of combining his shared passion for art and food. Here in 2005, I started to have a vision for how those things might be combined and then uh, teaching at Taipei American School, um, really honing my skill as a teacher and then in the process of doing all that realizing that there's a space, a niche here in Taiwan for art and food and then started doing art dinners in about 2017. The time that we were doing the art dinners, I got a lot of feedback saying, hey, this was really good, this is really enjoyable, this is not like a, a normal type of dinner, it's not like a Michelin star dinner, it's not a gallery, it's a great combination where conversation emerges. And so that was one of my goals, was to create a space that would build conversation about art, about artistic things, about creative people. Aside from showcasing the works of talented artists, the space also holds talks and serves a variety of customers. The studio also provides catering. It ranges from a Taiwanese set menu um, and a Western menu. Uh, and then we also serve Indian food. We've had people come in and give talks about art and art history. We regularly have a dinner related to um, uh, art. It's called the Artist Open House, and we invite people to come and dine as artists and, and commune together. Both of my co-founder and I really love Taiwan a lot, such that we want to contribute uh, with a space like this that's unique, special for artists and for diners and people who appreciate art in general. By combining art and food, the studio hopes to create a platform for talented artists and to also provide art lovers a space to dine and converse about art. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Hu Chong-en in Taipei.